tuned. Today on the Occult Series, we're going to be talking about Miss Sybil Leek. Sybil Leek was an English witch, astrologer, astrologer, excuse me, occult author, and self-proclaimed psychic. She wrote many books on the occult and esoteric subjects and was dubbed Britain's most famous witch by the BBC. Sybil was born on February the 22nd of 1917 in Staffordshire, England, to a middle-class family. She claimed to have been descended from the historical Molly Lee, who had been accused during the witch hunts. She calls this 800-year family beneficial relationship with our ancient Celtic form of witchcraft and occultism. She married her music teacher at the age of 16, though he died two years later where she returned to live with her grandmother, quitting the Witchcraft Association. She later claimed to have spent some of the following years living amongst the New Forest Gypsies or Travelers, as they are now called. When she was 20, she moved back in with her family and opened three antique shops. She moved to Burley into a house behind one of the shops. Her eccentric habits, as self-described, which soon resulted in problems. Media interest grew and Leap became tired of the attention from news reporters and tourists. Although the village itself benefited from the extra tourism and visitors, some were unhappy with the extra traffic and noise. Her landlord eventually refused to renew her lease, prompting Leap to move away from the area and immigrate to the United States of America. When Leek moved to America, she became an astrologer. While in New York, she was contacted by Hans Holzer, who invited her to join him instigating hauntings and psychic phenomena. They went on to do numerous TV and radio programs on the subject. She would later move to Los Angeles, where she met Israel Regardi, an authority on Kabbalah and ritual magic. Strong in the defense of her beliefs, Leek sometimes different and even quarreled with other witches. She, disappeared, she disapproved of nudity and rituals, a requirement in some reconstructed traditions, and was strongly against the use of drugs, but she was at odds with most of other witches in that she did believe in cursing. She also claimed to have had an out-of-body experience. Sybil Leek died of cancer October the 26th of 1982 at the Holmes Regional Medical Center in Melbourne, Florida. Thank you, everybody, for listening and tuning in to this episode of Occult Series. Until next time, everybody, see you later.